Okay, welcome to another enthralling edition of Decision Maths, and we have a, another new algorithm that we are going to learn called the bin packing algorithm, which is very creative. Right, this is used for, for example, okay. I mean, this this is not used for this, but this is a nice way to understand, to put you in the ballpark as, as to what we're doing, you know. So imagine, so I'm going to do a question and talk talk us through it, why we do it. So imagine that we've got um, a load of schools, okay, and we'll call these schools A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And uh, each school has a particular number of kids going on a particular school trip. And each school, they they have to stick, and and they all need to um, catch a catch a coach, okay, to where they're going on this school trip. So we've got school B, uh, school A, school B, and certain schools have different numbers of pupils going on the on the trip. But these numbers, these pupils all have to stick together in the same school. They all have to be seated next to one another on the coach. So school E has 21 people and they all have to sit next to each other. School F has nine pupils and they all have to sit next to each other. So on and so forth. And uh, as I just finish off, the last two schools here, school H and lastly school I. And the idea of bin packing is to um, fit all these pupils together on a coach, or, or, or maybe more than one coach. It might be two coaches, three coaches, four coaches. You might need however many. But it's to find, it's to place them in the most sort of efficient kind of placing that you can. Um, so let's just kind of run through it. And you'll see what I'm talking about as I, as I do. Um, this question, we're going to say that there are, we've, we've got some coaches and they're, they've got 50 seats on each coach. Coaches, 50 seats. Okay. And so, you know, if you add all them up, okay, and divide by 50, then you're going to sort of see that, um, how many coaches you're going to need? So if we, you know, if we went 28 plus 15, or I'm not going to uh, do it. I've already done it already, but just say you did all the way to 13. And if you divided by the number of seats, then the answer is 4.92. Okay, and this means that you're going to need at least five coaches. Okay, because you can't have 4.92 coach. You can't have, you know, uh, a fraction of a coach. Okay, so you're going to need five coaches at least, bare minimum, okay, to pack these schools together, these pupils together. But the problem comes is that because they've got to be together on a coach, um, you, you can't very well just stuff sort of uh, 20 of school D on one coach and then the other 25 on another coach. They need to be together. This creates complications. So um, we need to find a way of um, putting these pupils in these coaches. And we don't know how many we'll need. We might be five is the minimum number of coaches we'll need. It could be six, it could be seven. Depends how um, they sort of shuffle. So let's just get on with it and try it and, and see what we can do. So the first method, okay, so there's three methods of doing this. And the first one is called the first fit algorithm. Okay, first fit algorithm. And we're going to do this simply by doing one of these charts. So you've got one, these are the coaches, and we know that we need a minimum of five. Okay, we may need more, but we'll leave it as five for now. And there are 50 seats per coach. Okay, so this is the scale of the number of seats, and this is the number of coaches. I'll write it up here. 
seats uh, coaches should put number right so uh, just do some columns first. so if you look back at our list and we're going to go we're going to start with a and there's 28 pupils per a so we're just going to fill this up okay so that looks to be about 28 it doesn't matter it's just a rough sketch so a has 28 pupils in that one but we can get another 17 on this coach so we look at b we see that there's 15 pupils in b so we can put b school b in with school a and because that's going to total 48 okay no, it's not. It's going to total 43. Um, I think that's, um, twenty-two. All right, so that's why I went on. Okay, so we've got twenty-two. You can fit tw another twenty-two peoples on um, this coach. So we went to B and fifteen. So that's why it's uh, forty-three. Um, so can we fit? School C, um, no we can't, so we move School C, we need another coach for School C. And we'll stick those pupils, 39 pupils, on Coach 2. Okay, and can we stick School D, 45, no we can't, so we'll stick that over here, that's about 45. So there's 45 pupils in this coach. Let's go to E, 21, we can't stick 21, because we've only got another five seats left so we'll stick that over here uh, that was E, school E, 21 pupils and number four, coach 4 uh, next one is F, so we can put F, now here's interesting, you know, do you put it on coach 4 or do you put it on coach 2 um, because we've got um, 11 places left on this coach and we've got 19 places left on 4 so you know you've got which one do you put it on for the first fit algorithm, okay, we're going to stick it on the coach um, that was used first. So that's going to leave us, well, so that's coach F. So uh, that'll be f uh, a total of 48 in there. So you've only got two seats left in that one. Let's go to coach G, 42 seats. Okay, so um, they're very eager to go on this trip. 42 pupils, very popular in their school. And there we go, so H is 34, so we need another coach. Do need another coach. H, oops, 34. Just do that. You see, I'm not really caring too much about these bars. It doesn't matter too much the height of them, as long as you can see what you're doing. And then I is 13. So are there any coaches with 13 seats left, starting from the left? So, no, no, ah, here we go. E has 19 seats left, so we just stick school I uh, here. So that's 13 seats. And that's all our kids. All That's all of them, all our schools on coaches. So we've needed, using the f first fit algorithm, we've needed six coaches. Okay, and I mean, if you were to add these up and find how many seats you'd have left, you know, let's let's go for 28 plus 15. So, that's, so you've got seven seven seats left in that coach. You've got um, and two seats left in that coach. Five in that coach. That was 34. So you've got 16 left in that coach, and you've got eight left in that coach. And you've got 16 left in that coach. So you've got 7, 9, 14, 30, 38, 48, plus 6, 54 seats. So you've got 54 seats left. Right? And we know that there was 50 seats per coach. So um, although in using this algorithm, we can see that we've needed another coach, there may well be a, a better sorting where... A better system, better algorithm to use, that where we can get 
uh, where we can reduce to just using five coaches. And obviously using five coaches means that you don't have to pay more money for a sixth coach. So you're kind of saving money there. And um, so we're going to carry on with this question, but use a, uh, a first fit decreasing algorithm. So see you in the next video for that.